Today I have Alex from Terra Belcanica. You're new to the investor news audience. Can you give us a quick overview, please? Terra Belcanica is a explorer for gold, lead, zinc, and silver in southeastern Europe, Balkans, specifically Serbia and Bosnia, and recently acquired 600 square kilometer of a uranium perspective portfolio on the outskirts of the Athabasca Basin in Canada. And of course, you've had outstanding drilling results. I think we've got the keywords here, gold, silver, uranium. Is that correct? That is correct. So we are a precious metal and base metal explorer in Southeastern Europe, as I mentioned, strategically positioned at the footsteps of European Union, a continent that's badly starved for resources. So therefore, strategic position of ours. And yes, so far, three and a half thousand meters of drilling in Bosnia have yielded some you know spectacular high grade silver results uh, on within one particular target called Trumavici. Uh, we have defined three in the process of our targeting and two have been drilled so far. We also have a property in Serbia, which is the next on our docket of things to do in terms of drilling. And of course, you have the educational background and, and real experience to know what you're talking about. Would you like to talk a little more about these metallic veins that you were discussing in one of your most recent news releases in Bosnia. Yes. Or so this is a shallow, emphasis on very shallow, I'm talking uh, zero to 50 meters depth, high grade between 500 and 550 grams per ton silver equivalent. Um, epithermal veins in Bosnia that are of fairly simple geometry, they're dipped 45 degrees to the southwest, and uh, they outcrop along 7.2 kilometer long corridor. So in other words, we have 7.2 kilometers to play with, and the potential is tremendous to keep on adding those ounces or millions of ounces and tons to a, to an already defined geological model. Only 13 kilometers to the southeast in the area called Brezhny, which is also within our Bosnian flagship project, we have detected, again, after uh, 18 months of meticulous work and targeting, a uh, porphyry target that is itself fairly complex in a good way, uh, for it has gold on surface, uh, about 80 meters, 89 meters of it, um, at 0.61 grams per ton gold. So ma massive footprint, 650 by 400 meters wide. And then underneath which we also have to add to the complexity and the excitement, also another uh, corridor of epithermal vein host mineralization. In the neighboring Serbia, things that we hope to drill soon, superficial work has yielded two ounces of gold per ton in rock chip samples on surface. So I myself back in September of 2020 would have collected a sample that's two ounces of gold per ton. This now just needs to be drilled and we hope to do so within next month. Would you mind stepping back as well and giving our investors and audience uh, a little bit more information, perhaps some comfort about investing in a company that's exploring in Serbia and Bosnia, please? Right, of course. Um, I'm originally from that neck of the woods, so I'm very comfortable operating in the region. Obviously, we have built a tremendously strong license to operate that came as a product of hard work over the last 40 years. So both on the local municipal level and the governmental level, uh, we are a known entity in Bosnia and Serbia, uh, extremely good relationship with the government, uh, the agency that issues uh, exploration licenses. And locally, of course, we hire people, we support charity organizations, um, we donate uh, uh, walkie-talkies to local fire brigade, and all the things that a company should do to really establish its corporate footprint within a society like this. Uh, and I'm actually proud of the long work we've done. Both Bosnia and Serbia are um, uh, but few places in Europe where you can actually still do mining. Uh, it, they are, however, on the other hand, also extremely well connected by rail, air, and road to Central Europe, to the industrial hubs, such as Germany, Switzerland, and Austria. Belgrade is only 750 kilometers away by rail from BMW factory in, in Munich, um, which means that if you search and you know seek critical resource materials such as lead, zinc, lithium, cobalt, um, it's very, very good place to be and to export uh, those products to the European markets. Both Serbia and Bosnia have very low uh, royalty, 5%. Uh, corporate tax in Serbia is 10%, in, in, in Bosnia is 10%, in Serbia 15 
And of, here, of course, they have this winning combination, I like to call it, of millennia of uh, mining history, cheap labor force, clear permitting processes, and, and mining friendly environments. So a good place to be. But with such an exceptional, or what sounds like an exceptional, high-grade silver and gold prospects, uh, you're also in Saskatchewan. Would you like to talk to us about why you're in Saskatchewan. So let's start there. And are you just, are you planning on becoming an M&A player? What is the actual business model? Right. So uh, uh, that's a very good question, Tracy. And, and I think it kind of came in, uh, to us in a, in a sort of an indirect way. Back in December and January of this year, a portfolio of the company called Fulcrum Metals, PLC, a United Kingdom-based uh, explorer with a portfolio of uranium uh, focused licenses uh, on the outskirts of Athabasca Basin came to my lab. I executed a technical overview. I really liked what I saw. And then we realized uh, that, uh, you know, this property might be up for optioning. So what we decided to do is not to miss an opportunity uh, for what is certainly uh, uh, energy metal that is uh, currently sought after in a very well-established uh, world-class district, such as Athabasca Basin. Uh, that is currently, you know, from what I'm hearing, uh, experiencing a true staking rush. And uh, the, the, the size of the land package is tremendous, 600 square kilometers. Of course, after looking into the legacy data, it ended up being, from a merit standpoint, from a geological standpoint, very interesting as well. And that was a decision. It was actually a fairly affordable, dare I say, cheap uh, uh, transaction at the front end. And in my mind, something that's accretive to the shareholders of Terra Balkanica. So yes, it does not prevent us from focusing, still focusing on Bosnia and Serbia while simultaneously executing work on this side of the pond. So what should shareholders anticipate in the upcoming quarter? We have a fairly steady uh, news release stream uh, from the high-grade silver targets in Bosnia, to which we are going to add upcoming drilling results from Serbia, where we plan to execute between 1,200 and 1,500 meters of drilling in Serbia. So that together would account for a good 10 press releases at least over the course of next quarter. So quite an intense news release stream while we prepare to execute a field work in Saskatchewan. So over there, I anticipate to do some airborne geophysics, follow up with some groundwork, maybe a month and a half or so to define targets, and then hopefully start drilling early next year. Well, Alex, we look forward to regular updates from you. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much, Tracy. Look forward to talking to you soon.